goody. Just arrived home from taking my dad to the airport. He's flying to Florida to be with my grandfather. My grandfather's not doing good. Hospitalized you, so he decided to fly. God bless the trip. So thankful for that. So, but on the way home, we were stuck in you traffic on the interstate. Long line. <laughs> so happy life home. And, uh, but happy I got out for a little, little bit too because I was starting to have a cabin fever. <laughs> I've been in the house since I've been sick with cough. So, but I am a whole lot better with cough. And just late, lingering here and there, but it's working its way out of me but i'm not going to visit with my husband because still not want to make him sick so i think on monday we'll finally get to go and see him but it's better to be safe than sorry mom has a test on friday so my sister's coming in to help with that. My nephew's coming tomorrow. So we will have a lot of help tomorrow. Thank you, Lord. So, and only thing we stopped at Kentucky by Chicken drive through. Not something I should be eating, <laughs> but, and, uh, just rough. So just rough. I was want to talk about I'm not a political person, but I was thinking in the Bible. And oops. Mm. I hit you. <laughs> I was thinking I was thinking about what's happening in the Middle East about our soldiers being sent there to fight and all that's happening with that situation and I started praying about it it's not that I asked the question why I know why but it was more like is this the right thing question and Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 says and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. <clears throat> so Jesus says, don't worry. All these things have, have, is needed to happen. Have to happen. He's in control. None of these things that happen is a surprise to him. He's like, I know that what happened. No. And he's going to use it for his glory. I was thinking that man, that the bombing killed, that leader that was killed, 
this name, I'm not going to even try to spell it or say it, but that leader that was killed, I was thinking God had a true reason why he allowed the American military to bomb them. Because this man, as we know of, was a tyrant, evil. And sometimes God says to wipe him out. You know. We can see in history of the Bible from the beginning to the end where God will use the military to wipe them out. Gives permission. <clears throat> so, there's a reason. And whether we think it's right or wrong, God's, he's in control. And just gonna let that let that be in his control. And whatever happens next will be in his control. I'm not worried. I pray for our military. And I pray for all the people involved. But other than that, God is in control. And I'm not worried. There's a reason for these things to happen. And so I'm trusting in what Jesus said. Amen. All right, I'm going to eat my dinner now. And I'm going to wait on a phone call from Mom that Dad arrives to Florida. So... Thank you for watching, and you can leave a comment down below, and thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. That's what YouTubers say all the time, so I'm going to say a thumbs up, subscribe. All right, God bless. Bye-bye.